the manufacturers of this machine don't call it that, and that the scientific director of the institute here in, in the United States doesn't call it that, but they call it the Infratonic QGM 4.0. And uh, this is listed in, by the FDA as a therapeutic massager. And the origins of this, the development of this machine, uh, started in China uh, with the experiments I described before, where they were looking at these known physical, um, these known energies. And so the infrasound that was being emitted by the, China, the Chinese Qigong practitioners had a particular characteristic that didn't look like the normal infrasound coming out of humans. So they made a device that basically mimics the infrasonic emissions coming out of a Qigong practitioner during external Qigong. And this device is now commercially available as a, as a therapeutic device. The, you know, the interesting thing is that it has been used mainly for horses. Uh, and and actually they've actually done some research on that. So the equine version and the human version look quite a bit alike, and they, and, but they are all based on the same concept. And here's a, a transducer head that would be emitting infrasound, and it's uh, used quite a bit for joints based on the work, uh, the, the experience with horses. So let's just briefly look at one of those horse studies with the standard bed horses. So they had some functional data, and that was that horses out during their training, there would be a lot of stress to the joints. They would treat the joints to basically reduce inflammation and re, uh, accelerate the healing process. And they found functionally that the horses could run faster and uh, were very, very um, pleased with these results. Some of the actual uh, experiments were focused on hyaluronic acid. Sorry about that. Very difficult name of a molecule. Um, this is an important component of extracellular matrix. Um, it's a, a mediator of inflammation. And so they're, they've got very clean data working with uh, horses showing that the influence of this infrasonic generator to change levels of, of hyaluronic acid in the horses. So, and, and because it's an important extracellular matrix component, this led us to the hypothesis if we wanted to look at this in, in an oncology model, uh, we, we came up with the idea that it would influence the membrane dynamics. So we had these two hypotheses. First one was that infrasound is going to increase the membrane permeability of cancer cells, and that this increased permeability would allow the chemotherapy to get into cancer cells more readily, and this is really the definition of chemosensitization, and allow the chemotherapy to work better. So my laboratory focuses on brain tumors. So this is the model that we were looking at, and specifically glioblastoma multiforme, or GBM. And so now you can see why I've been leading up to the, the penetrative capacity of infrasound, because we have this skull bone to 